Hey, and welcome to another episode of Chronicles. You're here with Dan Tack, and I've got Ben Reeves here with me. How's it going, Dan? And today we're going to be playing some Dota 2. Uh, we've got the International going on right now. So, uh, big $10 million plus prize pool. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, ARTS MOBA games out there right now, and has been for many, many years. Dan, what do you think your shots are at winning that prize pool? Um, less than zero. Really? Less than? I sure. Know, didn't know you could go less than. I mean, I'm really good, but, you know, I need a team, too. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> There's an I team, right? So I know a lot of people are becoming even more curious about this this genre as um, with with huge esports events like the International. So today we're just going to, like, play a match, and I, Ben's going to sit in and see right. if we can get any takeaways about I this. I want to see all about this. Yeah. Uh, Dan, tell me again how many hours you've spent on this game. Uh, well, according to Steam, I've spent around 2,300, 2,250 hours. That's crazy. It syncs up with my number of games. It says I've got 2,192 games played. Okay. So, seems about right. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I don't think I've ever loved anything as much as you love Dota. Uh, the thing about the thing about this whole genre is that... Even uh, my parents. Okay. It, it, it stays fresh, because every game is different. Uh-huh. Like, not even taking into account different game modes... Uh-huh. Uh, the fact that each game is going to have different characters and different characters interacting with each other differently okay. it makes it it's the experience is different every time, which is it, it. So things never get stale. Right. Huh. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm a little embarrassed to admit I've never actually played Dota 2. So this oh, we, can, we can change that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, let's change it all right now. That's right. So we're joining a match here. Um. Which uh, character are you going to pick? I'm going to play Abaddon. Mm-hmm. He is. We'll, we'll go over him and the character select screen. We'll talk about what kind of things my character does. Well, what's your uh, what's your goal? Like, what are you striving to do? So right? this is a game about two bases, one on each side of the map. Uh-huh. First team to lose their base loses. So you're pushing across the map to invade the opponent's base and kill their primary uh, objective, mm-hmm. essentially. What's your like overarching like progression? So you level up like you would in an RPG, and you get stronger over the course of the game by buying items and levels. So this is the guy I'm playing. Uh, Looks pretty good. Looks like a ring wraith. Yeah, that's the skin I have for him. So he's wearing. I'm wearing an outfit on the character right now to make him look like that. He looks pretty good. He uh, he can be played as a support hero who kind of like helps out his teammates, or as sort of a semi carry, which is what I'm going to shoot for today. Um. You have a like a strategy already in place, like you're starting down there on the bottom of the map. Yeah, I'm, that's down here. I'm indicating this is the lane that I'm telling my teammates that I'm I am preferential to. Okay. So, and this, the skeleton king also. Well, I'm sorry, the wraith king has selected top lane. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any reason you like the bottom one? Uh, the bottom lane is where they're going to send their carry, which is sort of the a hero who starts out really weak, mm-hmm. but dominates the end game if he gets big. So my job is going to be to try to keep him down so he doesn't get strong over the course of the game. Well, how do you know they're going to do that in the bottom lane? That is traditionally the lane where they'll put him because of this. There's a little jungle camp here. Okay. So the support can take this jungle camp and pull it into the lane. This is sort of advanced strategy, but it makes it so the carry has a much safer place to level up and farm. Oh, okay. So he's just going to run around there and keep killing dudes. Yeah. Try to level up. There's going to be a lot of killing dudes and leveling up is, is crucial to all parts of this game. Everybody gets set. That now sounds looks, like the Bastion narrator. It is the Bastion narrator. Is it? That's actually the voice I have as my commentator. Yes. Oh, no way. I didn't know they had that. That's cool. Uh, there's a ton of different um, commentators and stuff you can get. So you can have, like, you know, GLaDOS really? or Bastion. Okay. Like, I've got all kinds of customization options we so can stuff here. you have to, like, unlock uh, by leveling up or something? This, everything in Dota 2 is free. Uh-huh. So stuff like the announcers, they cost money. So that's, okay. You're just a huge fan of Bastion. Uh, this is the best announcer in the game currently, I, in my opinion. But you can get all kinds of stuff, like Stanley Parable, like different characters in the game. It's uh, it's pretty wild, the customization you can do. Right now, the snow effect you see here, that's, again, from a customization that's option. Something you had to pay for? Uh, we got it with the with the International Compendium, yeah. You're just a huge snow fan. I actually have it on shuffle. So the weather oh, so this, it's random. The weather this game could have been snow, rain, or moonbeams. And only I see that. Yeah, yeah. So other players will see right. moonbeams if they want. Which is kind of cool. So uh, it looks like I might do down here. No, I might have a teammate in lane. 
So it's Murano in my lane. Okay, so so I didn't talk about my character. What I basically have this as a shield. So okay. I put it on, and then when I take a, enough damage to break the shield, mm -hmm. it explodes and hits everything around me. Okay. Uh, this is sort of my sword. It makes so it's me sort of a sword. It makes me attack faster and slow down the enemy when I hit him with it. It chills them. Uh huh. Uh, this is like a sort of a death coil move. And this is my ultimate is really cool. Um, basically, I can't be killed when that's active. So if I get low on health, it'll automatically trigger, and then I'll be invincible for a couple seconds. Active. It activates automatically. Like right now, I don't have it. Right now, I just have my, my level. I've only got one point in shield. You have to level up and put points in things. So you keep falling back to like Yeah, shield. so this the opposing character it looks like I'm down here all alone. Uh, the Clink's down there. He's a skeleton archer. He can go invisible. He's a, he's a ganker hero, and sort of a carry as well. So he's gonna he can stealth and shoot fire arrows and hit really really hard. But he's very fragile, mm -hmm. so that's his balance. So Dan, I, I don't know. To somebody uninitiated, it looks like you could just keep running. Oh well, yeah, I'm the trying back. to be. He's he's got range on me right now, and I don't have my. my so you're just trying skills. to avoid shots, is all you. Right, doing? I'm trying to avoid damage and get these get some coins by hitting getting these last hits on these little. NPCs here. Okay. I'm not doing a great job at it, but well, that's fine. You're talking. You're explaining things as you move. Uh, yeah. So you know, these land creeps will keep pushing against each other, and basically the heroes like me and these other guys you just come in and farm. We have and the impact. It up. We have the impact on pushing these lanes. Like there's a tower at the end of these lanes, and once these right. towers. So you might have seen it. There's a, yeah. There's a guy, there's they have a guy in the woods there too. This is the support helping the clinks out. So he's going to try to harass me and keep Clink safe so we Get can Get out of here. That's not cool. Come on, man. So I'm saying I'm not going to take that. And, uh, <laughs> get out of here. And he's going to run away now. Right, because he doesn't want to get hit by the shield. The shield burst does significant damage at this portion of the game. Mm -hmm. It gets it tapers off later on. But by then I should be big enough to, to be able to push out some serious damage while I'm invulnerable. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do some things to me. I'm going to have to really... So I have two people in my lane. So that means one of our other lanes should be doing a lot better. That's pretty rough for you. Uh, the reason that I'm alone down here is because we actually have someone in the jungle. Our Doom, who's a classic jungle character. Um, hopefully he gets really big by being in the jungle. So huh. he can safely farm creeps in there. So right. I'm using like a lot of jargon here. So no, that's to fine. Stop me if you, stop me I if think I kind of understand all the basics. Um... Looks kind of like top. I don't know. You just say like the top uh, left First lane. Blood, so it's a three lane game. You guys are doing pretty good up there. It looks like we're in the bottom. Lane. Yeah, it looks like they just killed somebody, which is great. So we got first blood. So that's some extra cash. And of course, morale swings pretty heavily in this game. So if you get like a three or five kills off the bat and the opponent team doesn't get a response, they'll, they'll just start giving up. It's pretty swingy that way. Do you communicate with your uh, teammates? Pretty generally, often? I would be I would be communicating in some fashion with my team. Yes. Uh, there's an in-game chat, depending on how comfortable you are using that. Or there's uh, actually there's a really handy in-game system, which I will sh like. You can just hit spacebar to do pretty pretty simple commands, like my lane is missing, or I need help. Uh -huh. You can just hit spacebar and pick from a preset. You can do that on the fly. So I just bought myself some boots. Give me some move speed. I'm 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 not doing great in this lane, but again, it's because it's two v one. And that's a role I'm comfortable handling as long as my team's going to get big and come in later. Right. So games are generally divided into a couple phases here, and they have varying lengths. So we're in the lane phase of the game. People are in their own lanes. They're getting some experience. They're doing stuff. Yeah. Later on, we're going to come together, you know, hopefully, and it's going to be a lot of 5v5 fights or 4v5 fights. And it's mostly pushing. like you versus the other players. Right. So it'll be all of us versus all of them. And these creeps, these little guys we're killing now, they won't matter nearly as much. But they matter a lot now. Because getting that money and getting the gear is essential. Oh, there you go. 50 more. You know, we're getting getting up there. Getting a couple points. And we're still... The main, the main thing, me being in the so-called suicide lane, the 2v1 lane, uh -huh. is that I haven't died. And I haven't... I have been letting the other carry farm pretty much at his freedom. But I haven't been completely... I haven't given him any kills. And I'm getting a, a little gold. So things could be a lot worse. Now, you don't want to auto-attack in this game. Like, if you're oh, really? a beginner, it's okay, that? but you always want to get the last hit on these creeps. Oh, that's the only one that matters. your time if you're not... You don't get the money unless you get the last hit. Okay. And Do you get a... experience from other hits? Yes. So that's not as worth it, though. Well, it's, it's all worth it. You need them both. 
Um, you get experience from the creep dying no matter what. Kind of looks like you just attacked your own dude. Oh no, I just forgot to take my ultimate because I was... Wow, I'm really bad. <laughs> well, we'll have to get another level up. 2,000 hours. Uh, in, yeah. Tower ain't doing so good. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm sure it's fine. Just unless we're in really bad shape if a tower is going down at five minutes. So it does look like our middle left is the middle lane though to go attack people. So he's off ganking, which means the other opposing team mid could be pushing that tower. Now, uh, remind me what ganking is. Uh, ganking is like, say, I leave this lane. My opponents don't see that I left. Like, I just back up, leave this lane completely, and go to some other lane, and then jump out of the woods and kill somebody. Uh -huh. Help my teammates take out somebody else. So it's just, it's basically a surprise attack. kind of like a floater. Generally with superior numbers. So you're going to win that fight. Like, you attack the lone guy farming with four guys. Sure. So he's not going to get out of that, right? Okay. Get that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I got that guy. You got him. I did. Kind of looks like you attacked your own dude again. Uh, yes, that would be denying. So if you get the last hit on one of your own creeps, you can deny the other team that experience. Oh, life. interesting. That's another layer, and certainly it's more advanced. Certainly don't concentrate on that if you're just getting into the game. In fact, the most important thing you can do if you're just starting is just to stay alive in lane and make sure you're getting XP. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting XP. I am. I'm in when range. You're Dudes are killing other dudes. Right. As long as they're dying, I'm getting XP. I'm just under really, really extreme harassment right now. And I don't want to give him a kill unless I absolutely have to. Alright, that's going to be cool. Now we can do some stuff. Now you're invincible. No, no. Not yet. You'll, you'll see it trigger. But he's running from your shield. Yeah, he's running from the shield. There's the invincibility trigger. So any damage I take during this will heal me. Oh, but the nice. shield doesn't last long. So I'm out of here. I'm actually gonna go here. <laughs> the <laughs> duration wait. increases as the as we level up through the through the game. So yeah, I've just been jabbering incessantly. So it's good, it's helpful, especially for people I don't know like me who might be watching this. Yeah, I just hope I'm not going too. Don't entirely know what's going on. Right. I hope I'm not too top level with this stuff. I realize this this is a really this can be a very intimidating genre to get into. Uh, I think that turns people off. What's the shortest like match you've ever seen? <laughs> uh, I don't know, 10 minutes? This match won't be 10 minutes, but they can go pretty fast, depending on the circumstances. So I'm porting down to the tower. This is the way to travel in this game. Okay. A lot of new players will just sort of walk from lane, but you'll lose lots of XP. Always buy the portal scroll and port down. It's only 135 gold. It's just a lot faster, and that's yeah, why it's Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to lose out on that. I don't know why my shop window's still open. Must not have the settings on this PC turned. There we go. <laughs> so there's lots of items and stuff you've got to learn, and basically you've got to know characters too. So that's one reason why this can be tough, to, you know, sure. a tough genre to get into. Yeah, you kind of got to get become expert on all the characters. Or would you say just um, like focus on one that you like? You should focus on playing a few, um, but you are going to have to learn them all so you know what you're up against. Your mid tower is in a bit of a bind. It's not good. What does missing mean? I noticed that the that little ice guy, he's not here right now, which means he's somewhere else killing. So he's, I want to alert my team that he could be. Oh, he could be floating around. That's right. Ganking dudes. You got it. That's right. I'm learning. You are. I'm impressed. Uh, that's uh, that guy can actually do that pretty well for a support. He has this massive ice ball that he can shoot across the entire map. Now it takes some timing to get used to it, but if you land it, it does pretty serious damage, and it's also actually an incredible counter to my character. Because it stops the healing from my ultimate. So he, and, you know, I sort of, sort of got on top of him, and he's he just stealth out of it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where he is right now. But I'm. This is a this is a character who's very comfortable with tower diving, because of my shield and invincibility. I can just chase people down behind towers. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense because you're invulnerable. Right. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, how long when that's fully leveled you're up? How long will that last? No, I think it's five five seconds at a max level. Which is a long invulnerability frame in a team fight. Yeah, I guess. Hate to be your mid -tower it always sounds right super now. short, but then when you're actually playing the game, right. like, you can get pretty far in five seconds. If five seconds is an eternity in this game in a team fighting setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. If I were just playing the game, I'd just like, oh, I can take these three guys, but you wander back until your teammates well, come That's up. another thing. You don't want to push too hard. That's another reason you don't auto-attack. If, if you're always at your opponent's tower, that sort of gives them the advantage. 
you'll never be able to really chase them down. So you, you want to, if possible, you want to fight closer to your tower than theirs. It gives you the option to jump them. Huh, interesting. Yeah, that's kind of counter to the way I would have right. normally play, I guess. And a lot of people just, you know, auto-attack the creeps down and be at the opposing tower because they want to defeat it, which is makes sense. But at the same time, it's not good for lane control, as we call it. This guy's just going to keep running for me, so it would be beneficial for me to switch lanes, but I'm not doing badly on farm now since I can push him out whenever I feel like it. And just force him to stealth out. Oh. He, he's not, he's, he's, he's fine. If you don't want to chase him down and no, try to kill I, him. I'm going to try this. This is really, this is pretty ballsy. Oh, you got him. <laughs> now, why is that ballsy? He seems like you're doing pretty good. No, I got him, I got him, I got him. Even if he stealths, I'm going to get him because the tower's going to pop my shield. Yeah, even nice. if I die here, it was worth it. It was worth it because you got two Because I got two, yeah. Oh, All right, you know, yeah. not perfect. close. Could have done better. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with that outcome. <laughs> not 100%, but I'll take it. Take what you can get. Uh, 2,000 I'm, hours. I'm okay with in it. In action. Somebody's cooking. Well, it's all on an MMR system, so I'm playing players theoretically at my skill level. Okay, yeah. Um, so these aren't just... Good ranking. Yep. So it's other people who've played 2,000 hours. Uh, no. It's actually sort of on an ELO system. So it's sort of a skill based. More like measured like how well they do yes. in battles. Okay. Yep. How many hours do you think uh, guys who are playing competitively like in the tournament <laughs> have played? Uh tens and tens of thousands. I think you can take him, Dan. Uh, good. I'm not I'm not calling that yet. I but I appreciate this. your vote of confidence. Just uh get some Red Bull this weekend. Just play. That, that's a good idea. Seven. That's that's a really good idea, but yeah. I think we're gonna do that. You got nothing else going on? Yeah, I'll get some get some Red Bull, you know. And now no one's down here, so I'm gonna alert my team. And because no one's here, I am gonna take this opportunity to auto attack creeps and push this tower. Okay. Towers are extremely valuable. Objectives. That was a good opportunity. They give your whole team lots of money. And of course, they open up the lane to future pushing. So when the tower's down, it's just down, right? It's gone for good. It never comes back. And you've made permanent progress in that lane toward pushing into the opposing base. Now we see see Mirana's in the woods here setting up. If the player is good, she'll be able to land an arrow on someone who comes in to stop me. She has a powerful long-range stun arrow that can that's really great, but you have to aim it. It's a skill shot. Okay, this is looking pretty good, Dan. This is looking really good down here. Uh, it's seven to seven though. I'm not sure how the rest of my team's doing. The other fellow's bottom tower is done for. Almost feel sure is, Bastion dude. That's right. That's cool. That's a cool voice. I'd have this one. It's Although, I might have, I don't know, GLaDOS would be pretty... GLaDOS pretty is well. GLaDOS gets annoying after a while. I used to use her for a while. Yeah. And it looks like our top's getting pushed pretty hard. I'm going to take this opportunity to, to take this lane for all I can. Does she kind of tease you, too? Yeah, funny? she does. She basically tells you you're terrible the entire game. <laughs> it's, it's as GLaDOS as you would expect. Uh, that's perfect. It actually is. I want to get a GLaDOS alarm clock or something. You know, I Whoa, need one of those. Look at those goos. Yeah, we, we want to stay out of those. That would get me up. She just calls you fatty until you get up. She basically just calls you a baddie the entire game. A baddie? It's pretty depressing, like especially for a new player. Like she's she's not she's not cool with it at all. What are these guys? Okay, these are jungle creeps, so these are NPCs. Uh-huh. Do they respawn? They do. Every minute. So, so these are like free experience. Right. So apparently the the little tinker saw what I was doing and decided to throw some a march of the machines down. He's actually far he's farming the jungle with his march, which is oh, okay. It so makes me kind of worried about this guy. Sort of like abandoning your lane. You feel like that's well, our lane just, is really well pushed, and looks you're like not nobody, worried about it at this. I point. don't want to go overcommit to it by myself. I don't see. I only see two opponents on the map. I don't know who's down here. You know, map um, map awareness is one of the most essential skills in this game. You've so you're just know, like constantly looking down. Right. You need to corner. you need to know where your opponents are at all times to know who could potentially be coming your way. Now you see he stopped out of that pretty quick. He didn't want any of that. I don't want any of this. So our mid tower is getting... It's still up. Here. I haven't really... I have not paid attention to a lot of the other lanes, which is a huge error on my part, but I've been... I'm going to say it's because I've been, been talking and stuff, too. It seems like you're doing pretty good there in the bottom lane, though. All right, like all I'm, by yourself, mostly. I'm only 20% of the game. There's four other people in here that matter just as much. On my team. 
So right now I'm really just taking advantage of this free farm, this uh, this lane being open to me. Mm -hmm. just farm it for all it's worth. I'm kind of hoping like one of their people comes and tries to farm the jungle so I can get them, but it looks like they're just doing work on my teammates, which means I probably should go join them. Which I'm going to do very shortly. Now, how do you know like the guys are even here to attack? Like, oh, the, these creeps in the jungle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, every minute you watch the clock, there's a respawn. So at 16 minutes, all of these jungle creeps will respawn at the same time. Okay, on the dot. On the dot. Okay. And then you just know they're there from playing previous. Well, they're actually indicated on the map. You see these little green dots in the woods if you look down at the mini map? Mm -hmm. Those are jungle creeps. Little green triangles. Okay. Those indicate that cool. there are monsters there. So we're going to go join up with our teammates now because this lane is... This lane's pretty solid. Clinks, I can't really stop Clinks from farming without buying dust or some invisibility tools. And to be honest, it's not worth it right now. Um, I think I'm going to go join my teammates and do some real damage. What do you say to that? I want to see that happen. All right. I want to see us take another lane. We're gonna we're gonna take some we're gonna get into it now. I feel like we're doing pretty good in this match. Right, we're and 15 minutes in. I normally would not have spent nearly that much time alone. We're gonna go get into the mix. So we've arrived in mid lane. My team is going in. Oh wow, my team has already cleaned up. <laughs> I wasn't even here. Good job, team. That was, that was good stuff. Good stuff right there. Oh, Clinks is Clinks wants some. Okay. <laughs> we'll give him some. Well, all right. Have fun with that. Oh, and they have another stealth arrow. The Nixus. There's that arrow. He's toast. <laughs> oh, How long do you feel like some shots. you actually spent playing the game before you really had a sort of handle on it? I'd, like, say, okay, I I'd say people game. are comfortable after, I don't know, 50 to 100 hours. Man, that's a lot of time to invest, though. Yeah, we're we're pretty much destroying right now. This is great. I remember when uh, people first started talking about Dota. I was like, the first Dota. I was right. like, oh, I should maybe check this out. And I played it for a while. I was like, oh, it seems kind of cool. And then moved on to something else. It was it was great back then too. One of the one of the best custom maps. There were a lot of other great custom maps out there at the, during those times though. Those were good times for uh for map makers. Good times. Good times. Oh, that's the mid tower. Great Ooh. oldies. It looks like this game is swinging pretty hard in our direction at this point. I think you guys got this. But we, no, we can easily throw. I mean, really? Just that last fight was was in our favor, but things could change. Whoa. Go. Oh, I was out of mana. I'm showing how noob I am. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're in pretty good shape. We're 15 minutes in. This game will probably take another 10 minutes at this pace. Games usually go from 15 to over an hour, um, depending on how things go and the team compositions. Sure. So the enemy team has Tinker, who's a great lane pusher and a ganker. An Ancient Apparition, who's a good support and can hit stuff from across the board. Two stealth gankers and one big carry. The thing about Sniper, though, is he has no like escape moves, so he's actually a very risky carry to play against opponents who know what they're doing. And when you say carry, that's kind of like a big heavy dude? It, it means that you start off really weak, but your skills allow you to win the game late because of your scaling. Okay. So a lot of percentage that's, based. That's the kind of character you're playing? No, my character can be played a couple different ways. Generally played as a support or sort of a semi-carry. Because of his uh, invincibility, he can get in there and really pound on people with heavy weapons without having to worry about increasing his HP. Your and see, they're taking back quite a bit now, so... That's not good. Where's your dude? I don't, I don't know. Here he comes! Uh, going in alone is suicide. And this guy's draining my mana. Which is really not cool of him. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm pretty confident in this Wraith King, though. He His initiative that he showed me last fight was, was good. So I'm pretty comfortable teaming up with him. Alright. You like how he's managing things? Yeah, I do. He's doing a good job. Like, he's Blink Dagger Wraith King. I don't see that a whole lot, but it's getting the job done. So it means he has a, um, a short range blink that he just did. Mm -hmm. He can sort of pop into combat using his own. Saw item. that, sort of. Might want to check your bottom tower. Seems like you've still oh, been wow, sort of like. Stacking creeps over here. Ooh. Seems like you've still been sort of like on your own for a long time. Yeah. We're not. Because these stealthers on the other team, they're making it so team fights are a uh, tougher prospect.
they're basically just trying to catch our people out of position and kill them with Clinks and the Nyx assassin. Now, what are you doing? You're just falling back to I'm your shop? I'm falling back to base because I'm hurt and I'm, I've been drained of my mana. That helps you, like, recover faster? Uh, when you're back at base, you heal all the way to full. As you'll see, my that. start ticking courier. up really quick here. Oh, no. We just lost our power. courier. That's really bad. That's going to give the other team a ton of money. The courier sort of brings items to the lane uh -huh. for people. If you don't want to go back to shop, it's a great way to do things. But it's a vulnerable unit, and it gives the opposing team tons of money if they kill it. And it's just gone permanently? It's gone for two and a half minutes. Oh, and our Venomancer's feeding. Get that sniper, dude. I will if we can somehow stun him, but we can't. Oh, he's going to run away. Yeah. That's not good. I hope this Doom is big. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, he's, he's going Radiance, which is, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. It's yeah, a, you're not a big fan. But. Uh, it's a thing. It's sort of the traditional, I'm Doom, I'm in the jungle, and I'm going the Radiance item. We need to, we need to get pull this together though at this time. We're we're sort of giving up a lot of stuff here. All right, I believe you, Dan. Let's focus. What's uh what's our next move, ideally? Our next move is to follow her around, and hope we kill somebody. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's at it. Shoot the arrow. Shoot the arrow. So like, how far out in advance can you really plan strategies though? Extremely, just incredibly. Like just even at the team composition level, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. And then in game, it's a another world on top of that. So you want to like take the middle lane right now? Is what you're thinking? Uh, right now, we're just trying to maintain a lead on these guys, so their their assassins don't get too out of control, and let our carry, Doom, get huge. I mean, I'll I'll be able to carry too, just because I'm building that way. And you've sort of abandoned the bottom level. Yeah, we haven't for a long much. time, and it seems like it's been fine. Oh yeah, it will be without a hero down there pushing it. The heroes have been busy t dealing with us. And as you can see, there's no one on the map right now, so I'm not comfortable being in there. And Marana is not smart for being out there and probably got me killed too because I went back to try to save her. No, no. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know really what's going on with my team. Your top towers are Team, we need to gather together. Yeah. We want to. That top tower of yours ain't doing so good. See what they say. So Doom just completed his radiance. I think you guys could uh, all team up and take the middle lane. Oh, this Venomancer. So what did he say? He said, "I don't know." Really? The Venomancer is getting himself in a lot of trouble, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> It's like your teammates. And now I'm gonna die. Oh great! Use your shield, man. Now the shields, the shields down. I'm out of mana. They drain my mana immediately. Ooh, this isn't looking good, Dan. No, it's that. See, this is the thing. You know, one person out of position can make a huge difference in this game. So look at, look at how things snowballed. That one viper out of position got ganked. A couple people went in to help him. They died, and then now everybody's in, and now everybody's dying. Luckily for us, our, our Wraith King is like doing some serious work. Oh yeah, he's got a Desolator and a Blink. To, he's gonna. <laughs> All right, I think you should just stick near him. Yes. Could you two team up? Yeah, that's a good idea. Just destroy some things. I, I think you've got it down. I like this strategy. Find out who's good and then just <laughs> steer near them. That's uh. And yeah, we've got. I think we have actually. We have way more late game power than us than them. They just have sort of sniper. We've got Wraith King, Doom, and me. And even Marana. The Venomancer, he may as well not even be in this game. <laughs> Alright, so your far left ability. You just don't like that one? Yeah, that's right. It's um it's sort of situational. It shoots out of like it's it's a very low damage nuke or a heal to a teammate. But right now I'm trying to get just more more mana to sustain a shield in these team fights. Basically, I'm not building as a support who would be healing my teammates. I'm building as a carry who just needs to do more damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, oh, no. The mighty have fallen. And he's about to pick up an invisibility rune. Now, you're not uh, teleporting anymore. Uh, I didn't teleport that time. 
Doesn't mean I'm not doing it anymore. I want to keep the scroll on hand now in case I need to port to a lane quickly. Because we're, we're past the laning phase at this point. We're 25 minutes in. Things are going to start happening pretty pretty quick. All right, so now maybe you can just push into their... I, I would love to, into their town or something. but I can't do it alone. That's the thing. There are almost no characters who could ever push a lane by themselves. There's there's a few um, that are designed to sort of play that kind of Dota, but that's not what we're doing. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get this guy. Your mid we can just land a stun. A help. I don't know why she didn't stun him. Stun him. I don't have a stun. She does. Yeah, no, I'm yelling at her. <laughs> oh, she's not doing it. Where's she doing it? And our skeleton king's back in town. Uh, our wraith king is back in town. We kind of need him. Yeah. Team up with him. Uh, well, when he gets back out here, he he went he went bottom, so I'm going down there. Your top tower's in trouble. Ooh, a double damage rune. How long will those last? Eh, this lasts like 30 seconds. Anybody I hit now will really, really get hurt. So you like this? How, how do you think this Dota compares to a lot of the other uh, MOBAs out there? Uh, it's certainly one of the best, without a doubt. Right. It seems like League, obviously, is super popular. That was just horrible of me, <laughs> and I am the worst player in the world for doing that, because I just got Skeleton King killed, too. Oh, wait, it came back. No. It's not going. No. Nope. That's his ultimate. Doto, yeah. Basically, we, we need to we need to play five man because that's what they just did, and that's how we just got destroyed. Our, our, our wraith king is not uh, <laughs> is not happy with the performance of our doom. Nope. He's claiming that he hasn't really been in the game, and that's mostly true. He's been in the jungle farming, and he hasn't really done anything. So, as you can see, these res timers get longer and longer as the game progresses to make sure that the game ends. Right. The higher level you are, the longer it takes for you to come back to life. So that's sort of their opportunity to push. Now that you, you got, got out. You're reporting. I am. Uh, now I, I think you played a lot of Smite, right? Oh yeah, definitely. You like that one a lot too. I do, because that one's you know it's third person, sort of. Everything's a skill shot, sort of. I mean. Not really FPS-like, but a very different experience than the isometric uh, sort of style that we see in a lot of these games. That came out of them being, you know, RTSs in their inception. Okay, hopefully, see, this is one of the things. It's all about getting your team together and doing stuff. All right, is everybody on board yet? We're, 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 we're contemplating that right now. Oh, why wouldn't they want to like team up? Because they all want to get their next items, and they don't think they're ready to to win until we get the next items, basically. Huh? Can you That's help good. somebody like push to get their next item? Like, what would be the goal there? Um, no, they have to just farm it up themselves. It looks like we're engaging. They're running from you. Yeah, they should be. Does our Doom have a Dagon? I guess there's a first time for everything. <laughs> so what's a Dagon? It's sort of a, it's a caster weapon, I guess, that does a ton of damage in a burst. Yeah, that's good. We just took a tower. We did. So now it's kind of like Now this is the base here. tower. Taking this is really significant. These oh, are the barracks. When these do go it. down, game's end. Let's do this. This is looking good. This is looking, four of them are dead. Yes. Now what's the thing on the other side of that? This is the this once you kill this the game is over. But killing these is really important because these make all of our creeps basically much stronger in that lane. So the lane pushes itself in. So they'll their little dudes will stop. Right. Oh no. Showing up. Our little dudes get way stronger than their little dudes. In this oh, but lane their dudes keep that. showing up. Yeah, but they get destroyed by ours. It it makes the lane push itself really hard and they can win the game by themselves without help without our assistance. Why does destroying their base make your dude stronger? I don't know the I don't know the math behind it. 
<laughs> Wouldn't it just make theirs weaker? Uh, Maybe? You'd, you'd think so, but I guess it makes ours stronger so that they can actually push past towers and base stuff structures. I guess. But it, it actually makes theirs yours stronger. Yes. It's not like theirs are weaker, and so by so comparison, yours are stronger. Beating these gives us much stronger creeps in the lane. If you take out all three sets, which is an alternate route to victory than killing this, uh, you get incredibly powerful creeps that will just destroy heroes by themselves. Oh. So that's another uh, thing. All right. Do. Yeah, I still don't quite understand why it makes your dude stronger, but that sounds cool. <laughs> oh, our doom, our doom is doomed. <laughs> no. Does he actually have a Dagon? No, somebody else shot that Dagon off. So your respawn... Oh, no, that was their respawn time. Yeah, okay. they've got a while. And they're pushing in now. Oh, we were so close, Dan. We were actually really close. Hmm. Now, this is Roshan, sort of a secondary objective. Killing him gives a lot of XP and gold. And Which is pretty tough. He's a tough, very tough monster. Oh, gosh, they are in here. Can you steal the kill from him? I'm, I'm going to try to. Get it at the last second. It's, it's, it's still got, he's still got way too much life. Like, that amount of life on him is actually significant. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of life. Yeah, but you guys can do this. All right, nice. We got him. That's great. We, we basically stole the Roche kill right there. Oh, they're probably super they're, upset yeah, about this. I'd be very upset. <laughs> and he's down. We are... All right, this is, this is good. Make this another push. Good. I'm going to indicate that to my team. Oh, you're drawing lines there. Yep. <laughs> and indicating that we should be pushing the mid lane to take those extremely yeah, important barracks out. That bottom tower here. Push now, push now. We are. We got Who, time. Who's the general? That's just his name. The, the general? The yeah, I thought that's what it said. I, I didn't hear that. <laughs> oh no, ice ball. Do this, do this. All right, here we go. Oh, they're using their protection. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's, this is a big advantage at this point. This puts us in great shape. So now we have a really, really big advantage. Now we just need to push on another lane and we win. Basically. More or less. More or less. You think the top lane or bottom yeah, lane is more? Top, no. Since we took out mid first, it doesn't really matter. If we had taken out like the bottom first, maybe we'd go to the top then. So we'd have more distance between the... But since we got mid, it doesn't really matter which so one we do So it's better next. to... Oh, I see. So because dudes who are like working in the other lane... Right. It would take them... Longer to travel you to got get it. over there. You okay. Got it. I get that. Sort of... Dude, then we're gonna we're gonna get you playing some playing some games, man. Playing some games. You're gonna what be are a... these video games? <laughs> <you can speak? laughs> I think I'll, we'll see you at the international next year. <laughs> you and me, let's go. All right, all the way. Let's try just a two-man team and see right, how, that sounds good. how far we can go with just two dudes. Probably win the whole thing. Oh, no, geez, those are creatures really from another. Yeah, those are the tinkers, the goblin mechanic. He just spawns ability. them. And... Yeah, yeah, it's one of his skills. Oh, I just got caught up. Really horrible. Oh no! Shield! That was basically me attempting to feed really hard. <laughs> and now we're all doing it. Now everybody's like, ah, let's See, just die! That's sort of the thing. I mean, when, you, when your teammate goes in on a bad play, like we did there, uh -huh. or I did there, you're sort of committed to go in and help them out. So, you know, games are won and lost by, by, bad by, the, by the errors of a single person. But you got that middle lane. We did. So we're, we're definitely like... Still winning. By by a significant amount, yeah. We just had to push in our lane. Bottom towers gone for good. So we just took bot, so... Oh, was that on our own? Yeah. Or your your dudes on your own? You got it. So we are in excellent shape. Now I got this thing, which is going to turbocharge my attack speed next time you fight. You gonna warp down there, or you're gonna see where everybody else uh, goes. I think I'm just gonna walk this time, since people are still rezzing and getting in position. 
Oh. Oh, good, he got him. Good job, Venomancer. To be fair, we probably should have closed this game out a little earlier, but... Like, this is taking longer than you think it should have? Yeah, but they, they often do, especially when you're playing with, you know, four people you don't know. It's much yeah. harder to get organized. I can see that. If you're playing with uh, with a group and you're communicating with them, uh, this game probably could have been over 15 minutes ago. Do you have a team that you like to play with? Oh, yeah. I have a couple different groups that I play with on occasion. Are they usually online when you go to play? You're like, oh, you guys are online. Let's play. Right. Pretty much that. So it's kind of like playing Call of Duty or something. Yeah. You sort of find the people that you like. Pretty much exactly like that. It's exactly like Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, a lot of other games like Dota have, 2 is uh, exactly like Call of Duty. Like I know when I used to play like World of Warcraft and and big MMORPGs, we'd often have, you know, uh, the same people who were in the in the guild would go play Dota after after doing MMO stuff. So I still play with that same group actually, from like ten years ago. So what happens when another game comes out? Divinity, for example, and you're like, I want to mm -hmm. play this. Like, you just kind of put this well, yeah, aside I mean, for a couple days and come back it, to it. I've put Dota down for weeks or even months at a time before. Uh huh. Yeah. And you just always come back. It's uh, it's easy to come back to. Something comfortable. You don't ever have to feel like you're not. You're never pressured to play. And, and honestly, after some really bad beats, it might be. It's probably the best idea to take some time off. Sure. Oh yeah, you don't want to get burned out. It can. It can be. It, there's no doubt that it can be a frustrating game, but it can also be a very rewarding gameplay experience as well. So it's it's one of the big draws. Be not. Yeah, I'm not used to this keyboard. <laughs> oh, that was just yeah, you're trying to say bottom. bottom. Okay. Yeah. I just thought it was like, oh, I don't know what be not means. Be not thyself. What does Doto stand for? It's just Dota. <laughs> it's sometimes it's called Dodo or Dotos. Huh. Okay. So you're just waiting, hoping everybody I'm responds. I'm just hoping to your my call team will come down come here. Down. <laughs> if they it's like, won't. come on, dudes. They're sort of like wandering, doing they're, their own thing. They're kind of just wandering around. Nobody's even responded. I, I know. Again, one of the perils of any kind of public game. Yeah, it's frustrating. Although in, in this in this genre, you're much more tied to your team's success than, you know, in Titanfall. I don't really care if my teammates are horrible. Well, and that's probably why people end up yelling at yep, other people. It's it is like, exactly why. Ah, why did you spend the whole thing game up there? Like I told you to come down. Like, right. You just get. I can see it. But that's exactly why, because your success is directly tied to other people on your team who you may have no control over. It doesn't really. You can't really have your. You can have your own individual success, but it's not like you know jumping into a COD game and just. You right. know, it doesn't really matter if you won or lost. You got tons of kills and you had a great KDA. In this game, you're gonna get punished hard for. Uh, for lack of coordination, for both right. luck, you know. Seems like those dudes are pretty happy just to be down there. Well, we have a couple people down here, which is more That's than good. usual. I'm still not comfortable pushing into an opposing base with. We need we need our whole team. Right. And they know you probably want to take the bottom at this point. They definitely know that. Because they still have a, a secondary tower up top. Our skeleton, our, our wraith king, is saying we should get back. Well, this is very obvious. Yes. This is one of those games where you kind of have to force them into it. Like, I can't believe this guy won't come down here to fight with us. He's still farming. <laughs> He's porting out to farm. You what can't are you make doing, this, dude? You can't make this up. Oh. You cannot make this up. <laughs> there, are, there are some times you'll play games with people who are playing the carry role, and they'll just, like, they'll think that you're going to win, and they'll just keep farming so they can get bigger and bigger. And they're like, oh, I'm going to two-shot people. It's going to be sweet. And they just don't finish the game. It's like, come on, man. The game's yeah, almost you, a one. And you can throw those games. Like, it's horrible when you lose off of that. You would think they would be realized, like, well, we almost got this one. Let's all just do it. You, and that is normally how it goes. Uh, I can see this being incredibly frustrating. It, it's, it can and it, and it can't be. Like, uh, if you're going to play, like, if you're going to just start playing, I highly recommend playing with friends. Right. No, that makes total sense. Uh, preferably around the same skill level of a new player. So nobody's really going to get at each other's face for for whatever, doing doing right. X wrong or something ridiculous like that. Right. So you're like level 18? Am I reading that right? Yeah, we're level 18. Uh, you cap at level 25. Okay. 
How often do you actually get to the level cap? Mm, depends on the game. I couldn't tell you. Is it frequent, or you would you say most of the time you don't? It, it really depends on how, how the game goes. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Now, if everybody's in the middle, they could just sort of we walk can, down there. That's, right, well, that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. okay. There I'm hoping go. my team comes with me. Do it, guys. Do it. They, they didn't, though. Oh, you jerks. Do they sort of come? All right. This looks good. Yep. This is really good. There we go. Let's do this. Yeah, we're Let's doing right this now. thing. We are. Finally. Finally, everybody's on board. Now you're going to go for the middle? Yep, now we're going to try to take it. If we don't take it, maybe we'll consider doing the, the final racks, but I think we, we've got 20 seconds of everyone to get a team down. Except for Tinker, and he's just going to keep throwing crap at us since I can do anything. This should be game. I bet they're like, oh, we lost. They're about to respawn, but it's not going to matter. No, exactly right. Except my team is back. Except where'd they all go? They're going to go try to farm the other team. Oh, come on, guys. This is <laughs> Whatever. Oh. You know, this is this is one of those let them have their fun kind of things. Oh shoot. Oh gosh, that hurt. That's not good. I'm the only one actually can, attacking can the you objective. Do this by yourself? Yeah, I'll get there. <laughs> well, you're close to death. There you go. That's that, that's that timing right there. That's good timing. Yeah. You got this. There it nice. is. Nice. Oh, did it all by yourself. Dan, it you won a, this game. It took a little bit longer, but we, we finished the game. Wow, good game, Ben. I'm impressed, Dan. That's, that's uh, GG. It looked fun. It was frustrating at times, but at the same time, rewarding at the end. Yeah, absolutely. Hold it off. This was a game. It was, it was a game. And now rewards are getting dished out. Let's see if we get anything. And I hope all your teammates are like, oh, yeah, we should have just gone for the, the end. I don't know what we were doing. Oh man, that guy got a rare dagger. Oh, I got some compendium points. I guess that's better than nothing. Hmm. All right, and there you have it, guys. That's good. That that's was fun. Dota. That's fun. Thanks it for showing was. me the game, Dan. Absolutely. We'll have to play again sometime. Yeah. Next year, go all the way.